Following anime mostly turned people off due to its rapid use of fan service. No, not that one. No, not that one. No, not that one. I said anime, not career! Cue title scene. Rail Wars is a 2014 action anime that follows the adventures of four young people as they basically just sort of act as security police people in a Japanese national train station. Yeah. Again, um, like I said in the intro, many people were put up. I'm just going to put it on Front Street. That was sort of the problem for a lot of people. And again, when the plot is just sort of, here we are, we're doing adventures, protecting train customers, not a lot to do. So again, the show does rely heavily on fan service. Why am I telling you all this right away? Because I just wanted to get it out of the way. So that way I can talk about the show with the elephant, or in some of our girls' case, elephants, in the room address. Because honestly, as weird as it sounds, I kind of liked this. Well! Let me rephrase that. I like it for what it is and what the show does right. And basically where things go right. Well, let's start off with, again, we got premise out of the way. Let's move on to characters. The show revolves around Takiyama, Sakurai, Komin, and Iwai's me, or something like that. And they're sort of your typical group of characters. You got Takiyama, he's our main character. There's nothing really wrong with him, but there's nothing that really stands out about him. He's just sort of the typical generic, he looks very plain. His big thing is that he wants to be a train operator, so there actually are some cute little jokes about him not wanting to be a security officer. And he knows a lot of random train facts that get implemented every five minutes. And some of those are cute, some of them are kind of interesting, but of course for a lot of people after a while that just gets kind of old. And the character, for the most part, is pretty typical for harem-type protagonists. Um, you know, the other big thing about him that stands out, he naturally does not have the ability to notice that every woman around him wants to jump him. From there, we move on to, actually, the best character in this, Sakurai. She's actually really funny, and, you know, she's kind of goofy. Her big thing is that she's like the extreme opposite of Takayama. She's very fast. She likes to hit people. She's very violent. She basically... She wants to, you know, basically be a cop, for, even though she's here for whatever reason, we never really find out. And basically because of this, she sort of runs it like a cop. So there's a lot of funny exchanges between the two. The character has some good, outrageous moments where she thinks she basically can be a cop in this that I think actually work. And she is pretty likable and funny for what she is. From there we move on to Comey, who's your typical big brain girl who's also got giant ass tits. And wise me, who's just some guy. Yeah, again, your typical bunch, and luckily from there, things get kind of exciting. I mean, all the other characters, there's naturally just the additions to his harem and the standard roles. But from there, things actually are kind of exciting. Again, when we're not focusing just on showing boobs, there's a lot of fun adventures. They're stopping bombs. They're catching robbers. There's good fight scenes in this. There's even one, it's not even a fight scene, but just a really good action scene towards the end of this that I thought I needed a nap after watching. Again, the show's not perfect. There's nothing here that particularly stands out, although the animation and the musical score is pretty nice. It's just sort of this simple, doesn't take itself too seriously, etchy comedy action thing that, again, because it's got all those genres sort of mixing together and bumping into each other, I think also makes the show feel very awkward at points. There are a lot of points, especially in the way the show tried to implement drama, that also wanted to combine the harem element and the fan service in there that made a lot of the jokes in this that were focused on that feel flat. Again, there are still enjoyable jokes. I did still enjoy the characters for what they were, but overall there's just nothing here that I think really stands out and really speaks to people too much, and I do get that. But for me, overall, I just thought this was an enjoyable, cute little series. I had fun watching it. I thought the adventures we went on were kind of cool. And, again, I'd be lying if I didn't think they didn't do a good job making the characters, I know I'm going to get people hanging with this, seem physically attractive. They were fun. They were enjoyable. The series was just nice and relaxing. And after all the intense, awesome badassery that was on this series, it's nice to get something just a little cute and small and not very threatening or whatever. So because of this, I'm going to say Rail Wars is a 6 out of 10 on the... Let's just keep it the action scale. According to Wikipedia, this is action. 
And again, there is some cool action in it, but overall, watch at your own risk. No full well, it's not very big or very extravagant. Take it for what it is, and you should be able to enjoy it enough, hopefully. But what do you enjoy? In the comment section below, tell me the things that you think were just okay. Yeah, the things you'll like when they're on, you'll watch them, but overall, you can't really see yourself raving too much about them. Let's celebrate that for once. And as always, click to like and click to subscribe, because like the trains in this, I keep on chugging. Yeah, that sucked. I'm sorry.